The future of business in Africa, I mean, Africa is a developing, you know, developing continent. Um, so there's a significant amount of growth going forward uh, that we can expect in, in, in Africa. We've seen that in sub-Saharan Africa over the last couple of years. South Africa has lagged behind a bit. Um, I think uh, with the new government of national unity, um, there's more um, uh, harp and, and uh, um, investment that's going to come through. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next couple of years in South Africa, you know, you know contributing to that growth. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of new products. Uh, ESAB is uh, renowned for innovation. Um, where they've, uh, we've launched the Renegade, we've launched the Rogue, we've launched um, the new uh, Volt, which is a battery operated um, welding machine. Um, we launched the Russeler, and we've got a lot of red dot awards uh, that ESAB has um, you know, got over the last uh, year with these new products. So especially like your Volt, um, the battery operated, it's a battery operated welding machine, so there's no need for electricity. Uh, you basically take it to where you want to go uh, and you can start welding. Um, so that's a massive plus for the mining and construction you know, industry. The product development is uh, really um, done in, in, in Europe, in our, in our Gothenburg R&D uh, center. ESAB spends millions of euros uh, you know, on research and development. That's why they're, they're the world leader in welding and cutting. Um, so it's predominantly uh, coming from Europe, the, the innovation, and um, we just, uh, we just uh, market it here in South Africa to meet the needs of the market here. People want productivity, they want efficiency. I think the market is, has been bombarded with cheap, uh, nasty imports from, from the East, um, which are really, in a lot of uh, uh, times, not compliant uh, to what you require uh, in the welding industry. Um, so the market is needing those products which, which really um, can meet those standards and ensure the safety of the operator and, and the high productivity that the market requires to meet those, those growth targets. Yeah. A lot of our competitors um, are really uh, bringing in product that is not, as I said, not compliant to, 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 to the standards. There's no approvals on the product, they're not the manufacturer. Uh, they tend to put it in, in, their, in their own box you know, and call it a brand and they're selling that in the market. And there's no approvals on it, it's not even compliant to AWS, EN classifications and, and the market uh, needs to be aware of this. And that's why with ESAB you guarantee the consistency, the quality, the approvals, the accreditations. Uh, you know, ESAB is not your world leader for nothing. And we have the expertise, we have the knowledge. And uh, with our state-of-the-art uh, um, you know, facility, our application center uh, that's situated in Germiston, with our five branches around the country, uh, we are well positioned to support and uh, you know, supply the market what it requires um, in the way it requires it, without compromising safety and without compromising you know, your productivity and, and, and your efficiency. So with ESAB, you, you, you tick all the boxes. We have our own service, um, service repair, repair facility in all, in all our facilities, in all our branches throughout South Africa. Um, and uh, we have highly trained technicians, uh, which, which have been through the ESAB, uh, ESAB training courses. So we have the right products, the right uh, personnel, and the right know-how to support and maintain uh, our equipment in the market. Um, so absolutely, we have pretty much everything to ensure that we ma maintain and, and maintain our number one spot uh, in the supply of welding products in South Africa.